Uh, huge news. Mm. Zach Lomax has been given permission to leave the club, the Dragons, next year. Mm-hmm. Uh, front runner is reportedly Eels, uh, but that has not been confirmed. What are your thoughts on this whole situation, Smithy? Well, there's been rumbles, hasn't there? Like There's been rumbles since the start of the year with you know, Zach Lomax being shifted to the wing um, instead of his favoured centre position. And I think as soon as that move was made by Shane Flanagan, um, you know, like we started hearing things through the the news uh, filtering through that, you know, Zach Lomax was was unhappy with that decision to, to move him into the wing, um, didn't particularly want to be there. And, you know, whether that was an opportunity, like who knows, like he, he might have wanted out of the Dragons. And he's just seen this as an opportunity where, you know, he's been moved to the wing, doesn't want to play there and just thought, hey, well, here's my opportunity to move. But either way, um, we know that, well, it's reported he's on a pretty good wicket. He's on, what, about 800,000. Um, and, you know, being on the wing, that's that's a that's a big pay packet. So they've granted him a, an opportunity to leave. And and you know what? Like, I actually don't mind it, Kempi. I really don't mind it. I, I, I feel as though... Um, you know, if you have players that are currently on your list and they, they have been quite vocal about not wanting to be a part of your club, then I, I don't see any really too many positives in, in keeping them a part of your organization. I just don't think it's a great thing for your club. I don't think it's a great thing for your team. Um, I, I think they can, they can create huge disruptions. Um, so he's going to see out this year. That's what we're hearing so far. Um, I think that's the report, isn't it? That the Dragons have said, "Look, you can you can leave at the end of this year. You're gonna have to play out this year." The the the, the strange thing about it, right, is that you know he there's been expressions of of how he's not entirely happy about you know playing on the wing and all that sort of stuff. But his form thus far this year has been pretty good. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like he's actually he's actually putting all that stuff aside and, and performing on the weekend which you don't see all that often when you have disgruntled players um, not overly happy with you know a certain position that they're playing or maybe they've been relegated to the bench or at a club where they don't particularly want to be at, their form reflects that entire situation off-field as well. But for Zach, like he's, you know, like he's performing as good as he's ever p- performed. Well, certainly the stats are showing that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, look, I, I have to be honest. I have to be honest here. Mm-hmm. Maybe Zach Lomax does want to leave, but yep. I want to make a guess here. I actually think the Dragons already wanted to move him on. Oh, uh, really? He's been on a, I think so. I honestly think so. Um, he's been on a big wicket for quite a while now. Mm-hmm. You know, He'd already been sat down, apparently, by Flanagan and basically said, at the moment, statistically, the 24th best center in the game. Yep. Um, I, I personally, if I had to make an assumption, I don't know this for a fact, yep. I personally think that the, the Dragons um, are basically... They are happy with this situation. Yeah, okay. And I think that they looked at his contract, and he reportedly is on a massive wicket, about 800K. Yep. And they said, look, you've been on that for three years. It hasn't delivered. Um, and I, So I, the, the idea that this is just Zach Lomax, him <clears throat> instigating it, I actually think this might be a bit of a mutual... Yeah, agreement. Th- they're both getting in a feeling that this isn't working. Yep. Um, because... You know, it, you got to remember is even at the end of last year there was whispers that they were he was getting shopped around, uh, yes. and that was in the off season. So, uh, I think this is more of a mutual thing where Lomax can feel like he's on the outer, so he gets treated you know a bit on the outer, which is normal. This is rugby league. This mm-hmm. is you know you'd be crazy, but also at the same time the club is sitting there going, "You're on 800k. Unfortunately, it just hasn't worked for us." Um, I will say it is interesting though, when Benny Hunt wanted to go, <laughs> it was like no yeah, sorry, no way. No, thank you. That no. is not available. That is not on the table. Yeah. Um, so a lot of people that like to say, oh, you know, the, the player is always in the wrong in this situation. Benny Hunt, how could you? It's like, well, look at the difference. Yeah. When a player is not what they want and he is on a bit yes. too much of a wicket, it's very easy to well, get the deal done. Well, mate, that's what we, we spoke about that with the Ben Hunt situation last year, didn't we? Like, we, mm. you know, we spoke about how he was quite vocal about not wanting to be there and wanted to release. But they were like, no, mate, no, you're staying. Because the club knew. Yeah. Like, he was their best player. Yeah. He was their best player, week in, week out. And the reason why you know, they won the games they won last year and even the games that they lost, they were, they were in the hunt to win those games because of the way Ben Hunt was playing. So clearly it's a different situation. Um, I think it's a great point that you make when I think it's a lot of the time it's when it suits the club, right? Mm, you know, if, 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 
if they if they see a player where they've sort of you know they may have mentioned like uh, I don't particularly want to be here or if there's an opportunity that comes up to move on I'll I'll take it if that suits the club then they're they're okay with it there's no we've yeah. seen it last year so they kept bent they said no no honey like you're not going anywhere Josh Kerr Josh yeah. Kerr moves <laughs> mid season. <laughs> You know what I mean? Because they yeah. because they know that you know that they've got someone to replace him. Whereas they go, well, who's going to replace Ben Hunt? No one. No mate, you're staying. <laughs> yeah. So so it's most definitely when it suits the club. There's no doubt about that. But um, yeah, this is this is big news. I think for both parties though, like if it is the way you mentioned, it's a mutual um, sort of feeling where Zach doesn't want to be there. The Dragons are more than happy for him to move on. Um, I think it's great that they have come out and now that everyone knows what's going on. Okay, Zach's going to be moving. We can get on with you know playing our best footy for twenty twenty four. Fans are across it. You know Zach can go do his thing, and the Dragons can start looking for a replacement as well. Yeah, in saying all of that, I think this is great for both parties. Yeah, I think that it's almost a similar ish situation. Obviously not as big to the Luke Brooks situation where it hasn't worked. There's a kid with a bunch of talent. Yes, that had all this pressure on him, and unfortunately. It just has not seemed to work. And and both parties, I think, have to take blame for that because mm. the Dragons have not been in a good environment for a few years now. And also, Lomax, if, if he's being honest, he probably hasn't put his best foot forward every single year either. Yeah. Um, because, ironically, when the most noise ever about Lomax has been made, he's actually playing his best footy right now. Yeah. Which, which would suggest that he had more in him, you know, in previous years. Yep. Um, where do you reckon he'll end up, Smithy? Well, there's a number, like... Parramatta's been tossed up. Uh, I think the Roosters have joined the race as well, I believe. So, um, oh, the Roosters. Well, uh, Suwali'i is moving on, isn't he, at the end yeah, of the yeah. season. So I think if Zach wants to play centres, that might be that might be a, um, a straight swap there, straight in, straight in for Suwali'i, who's going to be moving on to rugby. So it wouldn't surprise me. It really wouldn't surprise me if he ended up at the Chooks. Imagine they can that. find a way. Oh, they can wow. find the way the chickens to find a <laughs> find find some room for a player. Oh man! Oh, I, look, I think that you you have to assume if he goes to the Roosters. I know this is going to sound silly, but you have to assume he'd take a pay cut. Like, there's no way I he's think going he'd to the Roosters. To, yeah. On, yeah, he'd be going no. on there at like you know four or five hundred, I reckon. Yeah. Um, you know, so look, I think he'll probably end up at the Eels because they're desperate for an outside um, back. Mm-hmm. Uh, we got a text here from Dom. Sorry. Uh, keeps, but I disagree. The Hunt and the Lomax situation is completely different. There's no half on the market that they could get, whereas wing is replaceable. There are good wingers everywhere. I think you kind of... That's what we're our, saying. That's what we've proven our point, Dom. When it yeah. suits the club, it can happen. Yeah. When it doesn't suit the club, it doesn't happen. But uh, yeah. you make a good point. There are you know, obviously people that can replace Lomax. Mm. Do you think that he could suit the Eels? Do you think that, that they should pay you know, quite a hefty amount for him, or do you think that he should be taking pay cuts if he is to go? Well, I don't, I don't know how, how many centres are are on eight hundred a year. I don't think Only there's the a tippity top. Yeah, I don't think there's a whole heap in the in the competition right now. I, I, mate, I remember going back what 10, 10, 12 years ago, fifteen years ago. Centers were the big money were was yeah. going to the centers. Yeah. Um, you know, if you had a you know a, an elite center, a guy that played rep football, maybe playing international football, like they were, they were big money players. But the way the game is played now, it's sort of the money has gone away from centers mm. it's now you know particularly you know i think the majority of your cap is spent on your spine um if you've got you know a couple of giant front rowers a bit of money goes their way as well um you know even 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 some some quality back rowers get some get some decent money uh yeah. but i think the wingers and fullbacks you know and i think it's just the way the game is played now um and you know the current sort of Climbing around, you know the the value of those players that 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 clubs are placing on. I think that they're not they're not getting the money they were getting. So, I think what maybe a Stephen Crichton mm. would be, you know, around that sort of. It's reported up up around the sort of eight hundred sort of mark. Um, yeah. I, I don't know how many other centres would be getting paid that much. So it it really comes down to like how much is that club needing Zach Lomax. You know what I mean? Like some sometimes there's there's scenarios where clubs are just desperate, and and they have to pay big coin to get a certain player over there. But in the general market, I, you know, I'd be saying maybe anywhere from 
five to sixes mm-hmm. would be a standard yeah. sort of um, – would be like the going rate for a centre. Yeah, I, I think that if you're low max, I wouldn't even be looking at money right now. Like I'd be looking at – I'd be looking at trying to prove a point, if I'm being mm. honest, if I'm in his shoes, because he's yeah. incredibly talented. And he's a proven a point this year. Um, but, yeah, I wouldn't be nickel and diming, you know, two different clubs. I'd be going, okay, where can I go yeah. that I'm going to be the best player? And I do that for a year or two. Yep. Then I can ask for the big bucks. Um, because I think that at the right club, in the right environment, he could be one of the best outside backs in the competition. There's no doubt in my mind.